all right good day and um, welcome to another tutorial session now we'll be considering how to run our simulation on the um, mixer and the T okay we continue with our tutorial case all right so it's quite easy simulating a mixer okay a mixer needs um, two feet stream and one outlet stream so this is a mixer okay you bring out the mixer and um, open it up it requires feed stream so you have to let's say we are mixing stream one stream two and stream three so it has more than one inlet stream so put stream one stream two and stream three okay so requires an a product stream and I call this stream 4 so automatically this solves all right okay I wanted to use this to show you something remember what I told you that once your server is on hold nothing solves now I change the automatic pressure assignment from set outlet to inlet pressure to equalize all and it brought out an error message which is which was telling me that this is not possible okay now if you're running a dynamic simulation on a MISA for automatic pressure assignment it has to be equalized or but on a steady state design you have to use set outlet to lowest inlet now if I click on this it's not going to solve until I activate this okay did you see that so when you're running a simulation on a mixer your automatic pressure assignment must be set outlet to lowest inlet pressure that means the outlet pressure or the, the pressure of the product stream will be the lowest pressure or the lowest inlet, pre inlet pressure now this is it let's go to worksheet so you understand what I'm saying better now for stream 1 the pressure of stream 1 is 241.7 stream 3 is 39.91 stream 3 is 101.3 so stream 4 being the product stream we take the pressure of the lowest or the lowest pressure of the of the fish stream now the lowest pressure is 39.91 so that is what stream 4 would take so that is what sets outlet pressure to lowest inlet pressure okay so that is how to run your simulation on um a MISA now this is where you see the diameter under rating you see the diameter of your nozzle and um, elevation elevation means zero elevation means that it's just placed on the floor so if your fish stream have elevation you come here and fix the elevation from the ground this elevation from the ground and um, fix it in to be calculated okay so that's how you run your your mixer so the temperature of feed one is 10 feed two is 10 feed three is minus 159.0 now after mixing the temperature of um, the outlet stream is now minus 169.2 and we have a um, two vapor phase feed mixing with um, a liquid fix and at the end of the mixing the vapor phase fraction is now 0 0.1917 okay now okay this is not supposed to be here so i'll bring it over to the side and um, let me try and arrange it to look nice okay so all right so that's our mixer now for a t a T is just like the inverse of a mixer. All right, a mixer accepts more than one stream, more than one feed stream, and gives out just a product stream. A T receives just one feed stream and gives out more than one outlet stream. Now, what can you use a split a T to design in Aspen Heises? Now, your manifold. A T can be used to design a manifold. Okay, then um, 
splitting unit and all of that so all we need to do is to get a t all right now if you have a stream and you you need part of that stream in another um unit probably you need 30 percent of that stream in another unit and the other 70 percent to another unit the same stream but you just want to you need them in separate units all you need to do is to pass the pass it through a t okay so let's assume we want to store 70 percent of mixer out that's the outlet of the mixer the outlet of the mixer is um four and um let's say the outlet is um five and um and six five and six all right so let's assume that stream four is actually our last product like our finished product and we want to store 70 percent of stream four and send 30 percent of stream four to another unit for another process so all i need to do is come over to parameters under design okay so let's say um stream 5 being the one that we are sending to storage zero will be 0 0.7 that's 70 percent so automatically it will calculate the other one 30 percent so 70 percent of stream 4 we can now send it that stream 5 we send it to a storage tank send it to a storage tank um stream 5 send to storage tank and so our vapor is um seven and eight so this we calculate it automatically so you understand so 70 percent of this stream was sent to the storage tank while this is sent to another unit so that's the essence of using it it just helps you to to split your feed stream into uh, multiple streams okay it can be three it can be four it can be five but you must understand that the split must be equal to one at the end of the day meaning that if you have three streams when you sum up the fractions it must give you one all right so this is what i mean if you come to parameters and you have let's say you have three streams here the summation of these flow ratios must be equal to one it must be equal to one if it's not equal to one it will not solve all right so that's all about simulating a mixer and a t so let me just add um a valve okay let me show you how to simulate a valve now this icon here look at my cursor this is um zoom to fit so this will bring your design to centralize your design then you can now use this to scroll okay to give you space for design all right so now I want to add a control valve to stream 7 okay because stream 7 have a more of gas in this storage tank so I need this valve to control this so all I need to do is come here put stream 7 and the outlet stream 9 okay unknown delta P count parameters Put your delta p i can say okay my delta p is just two kilopascals all right so this is how to run your simulation now if this your valve is a check valve by check valve i mean valve that is used to prevent backflow okay all you need to do is click on dynamics come here and click on check valve okay that's if you're designing a check valve all right so that's how to get that and um under routine this is where you see your inlet pressure okay molecular weight valve opening and all of that you can change all of that okay change these parameters to suit your design then your cikm and all of that now what's the um valve operating characteristic characteristics it can be linear it can be quick opening equal percentage so you choose the one you want okay if it's used the user table you have to cite it yourself and okay put in the values and everything was the valve manufacturer universal gas sizing 
Fisher, Introvertech, depending on uh, the manufacturer you want to use. Okay, so size and condition you have current and you have user inputs. Now, for the user inputs, you can use your hand to edit this and add what you want. All right, so that's all about mixer T and the valve. Okay, so in our next tutorial, we'll be handling um, heat exchanger. After that, we'll be handling distillation column absorber before we move straight to running a full blown simulation case. All right, I believe with all these things, you're beginning to master how to simulate um, each of the unit operations. If you can master this, running a full project won't be an issue then after that i'm going to teach you how to run a recycle stream okay i'll teach you how to use the um recycle icon the adjust the set and the more balance all right so that'll be the end of our tutorial today have a nice day